In this lesson, we're practicing control over our koho kaiten by using two methods of rolling to move from and into specific kamae. The two methods of backwards rolling in this lesson are rolling with the hands at the sides and rolling with one hand protecting the face. When rolling with both hands at the sides, place the arms down to each side of the body and roll over either shoulder, using the arms to brace the roll. To roll protecting the face, place the hand opposite to the shoulder you are rolling over beneath your cheek and beside your shoulder as you roll. Practice each drill in this lesson using both methods of rolling. Our first drill is rolling from Hiza no Kamae into Hiza no Kamae, and then into other Kamae. To roll from Hiza, shift the weight to one side and roll over either shoulder. Rolling over the opposite shoulder will be easiest. Exit the roll in Hiza no Kamae by lifting the knee and opening the hip to face the direction you started in. Next, practice rolling from Hiza into Seiza, Sagata, and standing. Our second drill is rolling from Seiza no Kamae into Seiza no Kamae, and then into other Kamae. To roll from Seiza, shift the weight to one side and roll over either shoulder. Rolling over the opposite shoulder will be easiest. Exit the roll in Seiza no Kamae. Next, practice rolling from Seiza into Hiza, Zagata, and standing. Our third drill is rolling from Zagata no Kamae into Zagata no Kamae, and then into other Kamae. To roll from Zagata, shift the weight onto the ground and roll over either shoulder. Next, practice rolling from Zagata into Hiza, Seiza, and standing. Our fourth drill is rolling from Shizen into a seated or standing Kamae. Lower the weight from Shizen through Zagata no Kamae, then enter the roll. If you cannot lower to the ground through Zagata, use whichever Kamae or lowered position works for you. Don't worry about being graceful, just get close to the ground and enter a controlled roll. Exit the roll in Hiza, Seiza, Zagata, or a standing posture.
Our fifth drill is rolling from walking backwards, exiting the roll in a seated or standing Khmer. Lower the weight and extend one leg to receive the ground. Lift the straightened leg over its opposite or same side shoulder to enter the roll. Exit the roll in Hiza, Seiza, Zagata, or a standing posture. Our sixth drill is moving from a backwards roll into a backwards breakfall position. With the chin tucked into the chest, one leg raised to guard, one foot flat on the ground, and the hands near the body and ready to engage. At first, pause between the roll and the breakfall. Pay attention to how the movement chain feels through your body. As you become comfortable with the movement, start to reduce the pause between rolling and break falling. Finally, remove the pause altogether. This type of drill is excellent for developing core strength and control over each aspect in the sequence.